You've seen my next guest tonight on The Good Wife and The Good Fight and in Six Degrees of Separation on Broadway. Please welcome John Benjamin Hickey. No, I, I just I just saw uh, you and Allison Janney yes, and uh, the, the young man just won the Tony. Corey Hawkins. Corey Hawkins. He was amazing. nominated. He didn't win. He Kevin didn't Klein win. Won. He won up here. We yes, had him on the sure show. Did it in my heart. An absolutely yeah. brilliant performance by all of you in the play. Thank you. It closed Sunday night. Closed Sunday. It's so nice to be here after the show has ended because whoever didn't see it just has to take our word for it. <laughs> How great it was! It was tremendous. Yeah. Really, it was, it was, it was a amazing. Remarkable play, a masterpiece, and mm -hmm. it was a great, great fun to get. It must be sort of like an honor to be like to be able to do that play on Broadway too, to say those words and yes. tell that story. Yes, it's a brilliantly written play, and it's a play that's so relevant now because it's about the walls we build between each other, mm -hmm. based on class and race and young and old, and uh, really, really relevant now. So it was great fun to do. What's it? like to, I've, I've never done a Broadway play, what's it like to do a run and know that it's coming to an end? Is like all the last nights, are you choking up? Like what, yes, what is you it are. like you, you're, yeah. to stay in character for You're trying kind of not to be too sentimental about it all. I mean, you're also slightly thrilled because it's the greatest honor in the world to be in a Broadway show as an actor. It's like the epicenter of the acting universe. But it's also like being in your very own existential Groundhog Day because you're doing the same thing over and over. It's like you, it's like if you came here and had the same guest on every single night and said the same things to each other. So you have to try your best to make it very, very fresh and alive. And uh, in the last few shows, you're trying not to cry. And I'm a little bit of a control freak, so you also want everything to be perfect in the last few shows. And in the last moment of the play that I have with Alice and Janney, a beautiful moment, and we were feeling it. I mean, we were full of emotion. A cell phone went off in the audience. Oh. That was so loud. And it was an old school ring, and the play takes place in 1989. And so people who were in the audience thought, oh, I thought that was part of the play. And you're like, well, no, it wasn't part of the play. Well, and then. Not, no jury would convict you. No jury would, <laughs> no, absolutely. There should be a fine. There should be yeah. a fine. Yeah. Well, um, uh, Allison Janney played your, your, your wife. She played Weeza to yeah. your to your flan. 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 Those Kittredge, and yeah. But I, I heard you said that she, basically you two got stage married 20 years before. Oh, what does yes. that mean? This was like my eighth or ninth job with, uh, with Allison Janney, the magnificent Allison Janney. And 25 years ago, I think, we were in an off-Broadway play together. We both got cast in the movie The First Wives Club. I hope people remember sure, that. Yeah. It was a wonderful yeah. movie, yeah. Yeah. And uh, we were... Uh, Goldie beyond, Hawn or something? Goldie Hawn, yeah, yeah. Bette Midler, and uh, Diane, the great Diane Keaton. We were so beyond excited because, A, we'd never been in a movie, and, B, we were dead broke. I mean, we were as broke as broke could be. We get there, 6 a.m., we wait until 6 p.m., and there's a knock on our uh, door, and an assistant director says, um, hey, you guys, you're released. Goldie Hawn has decided that she doesn't want this scene to be in the movie, and you guys can go home. And, A, we were heartbroken, but, B, we were also like, wow, it must be really cool cool to be a movie star. You get to just decide you don't want to do this. But the great news is, is we got paid, even though we never even appeared on film, and we still get a paycheck. 25 years later, we get a check. It's for $3.17. It adds but up, though. It's $3 I didn't have the day exactly, before. Exactly, it yeah. adds up after a while. <laughs> you have a radio show now? Yes, on... I do. Um, I, uh, I have good taste in old friends. Another one of my old buddies is Andy Cohen. He's great... a good friend to have. He's a friend, He's a of, very good friend, friend of us over here, too. Yes. Yeah. The wonderful uh, Andy Cohen. Um, a couple of years ago, we were on the beach, and he said, guess what? I've got a, a channel on Sirius XM now called Radio Andy. And I was like, of course you do, because sure, he does everything. you're Andy Cohen. And he said, would you ever think about doing a radio show? And I think we might have been a little stoned. And I was like, sure, of course I want to do a radio show. Um, and uh, we came up with this idea called My Favorite Song. And it's, a, it's brilliant. I send you a questionnaire, and I'm going to send you this questionnaire. because To me? Yeah, this is a barter system. Oh, I'd love You're to. You're going to come, yes. Sure. Um, and I ask you what's your favorite song in high school, what's your favorite song, what's your favorite rock and roll song, what's your favorite disco song. What is your favorite high school, song from high school? Uh, my favorite song from high school? 
Uh, I mean, pretty pedestrian. I mean, I, I knew all the words to Stairway to Heaven. Yes, perfect. <laughs> yeah, yeah. A perfect. Yeah. So we would play that song, all 12 minutes of it, however Yeah, long exactly. And then we would say, thank you for being here. Thank you for, that would be it. We just did the show. You better hope there aren't tapes. Um, uh, and we'd play, <laughs> we'd play the song. <laughs> to quote like, a great man. Yes, to quote yes, a great yes, man. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. um, we'd play the song, talk about it. And the great thing about the show that was a surprise to me, because I'm not an interviewer, brilliant like you are, I, you learn about a person's life without having to talk about their life. You know, because we all have a soundtrack. We all have music. And well, next time I'm going to do that with you. Uh, I'll good. do it for you if you do it for me the next time you're here. Uh, I, I would love that. Or, uh, okay, you, everybody heard that. You're going to do my show. It's done. Yeah, it's good. done. Good, good, good. John, thank you so much thank for being here. Thank you, Stephen, very, very much. My favorite song with John Benjamin Hickey airs Wednesdays on Sirius XM. John Benjamin Hickey, everybody. We'll be right back.